<laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just watching the Liverpool and Newcastle game right now and I'm seeing how Nunes is missing the goals and all of that. And it just hit me that Nunes, Gakpo, who has also flopped, and Anthony, who we don't have to say much about, could all be Manchester United players together today. Like, even when you think the worst is happening to your club, there could have been worse. Chelsea fans, maybe it's not so bad after all. And that brings us straight into the video that we are going to do today. And that is why Jean-Claire Todipo is the perfect fit for Chelsea. Welcome to yet another edition of Mugumisa Talks Chelsea. My name is Desire Derek von Mugumisa and I am here to let you know that uh, well, we have great Chelsea conversations on this channel every single day and I urge you to go ahead and like this video. I will really appreciate it because the more you like it, the more it is shared with so many other people and then we grow our community. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't get to miss out on all this great content that I keep doing for you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Jean-Claire Todibo, he is a man that has been linked to Chelsea and earlier today we were seeing tweets about the possibility of us spending about 60 million euros to sign this guy. Now, 60 million euros is a lot of money. I don't think he's worth that amount of money, Jean-Claire Todibo. But uh, I guess because uh, Chelsea is involved, those prices will go up. There are also tweets from people that I trust so much as far as transfer business uh, is concerned who have come out to dismiss any kind of talks or the possibility that we could be in talks to be signing Jean-Claire Todibo. Matter of fact, Fabrizio Romano, who has become, um, what do we call that? An authority, as far as uh, transfers are concerned, has also not said a thing or much about Jean-Claire Todibo coming to Chelsea Football Club. But that does not stop us from looking into why this might be someone we actually need to sign. Now, first of all, Chelsea fans have been out there stating that we don't need yet another centre-back right now. We have this many centre-backs. And I agree with you, that was exactly the first kind of reaction that I had. Especially because one, I'd seen Todibo at Barcelona and it had not worked out. So he had gone off on a couple of loans and then it failed, he went back to France and somehow ended up at OGC Nice. And uh, secondly, because, well, yeah, we have so many defenders. But the reality is, um, uh, he's a different kind of defender. He, we don't have the profile of defender. And with the way we are playing, especially if Pochettino continues to be our manager, we need centre-backs with pace, we need centre-backs with so many things that Todibo gets to offer. Of course, he's not perfect, he has some minuses, and that's exactly what we're going to be looking into right here on this video. Let's start this one off with uh, who Todibo is. He's a young kid who grew up in the academy at Toulouse. Um, uh, their youth system right there, very good youth system as far as France is concerned. Then um, uh, when he was available, there was an opportunity for him to go abroad from France. Barcelona snapped him up, they took him up and uh, yeah, loan spells to, I think that was uh, Schalke uh, in Germany and then Benfica in Portugal got to follow. Um, uh, those did not exactly put him in the right frame of mind to play at Barcelona. Matter of fact, many times he played at Barcelona, he made grave mistakes that ended up costing Barcelona goals. So he was shipped out and uh, he ended up at, uh, well, a couple of, um, as fate would have it, he ended up at Nice, where he currently gets to play his football and he is emerging and he has really emerged as one of the hottest properties in Europe currently and uh, one that is of a rare defender, the one who is on the front foot looking to contribute to the attack. He's always driving the ball forward when he needs to, but he's also very available at the back. He has the pace and the ability to go forward and come back. You could say many fullbacks play like him, but he plays that and does that through the middle. Um, uh, well, 
I think, I think if we get this guy, it would be a very impactful dis um, uh, signing for Chelsea Football Club. He would be an assured starter in this current Chelsea side and uh, he would definitely add us the best that we need. We've seen how we keep conceding goals on the counter-attack and all of those kinds of things. I feel that uh, Todibo getting to come through at uh, Chelsea Football Club then does get to make him a perfect fit for us as uh, he tries to solve that issue that we do have right there. Um, uh, we are not a club that uh, needs defensive cover or anything, so I would think that with the stature that we are in, if we are going to look at any centre-back today, it is because that centre-back is coming in to start, not to be backup for anyone or anything like that. So I think that too also makes it uh, a perfect fit for Chelsea, because if at all we have all the defenders we have, and we still want to go out and get a kid like him, no, not a kid now, he's a mature guy and uh, has, uh, you know, polished up his game, then it is because because we need him and we shall get to be using him right now and yeah he will be available immediately I think he might start off the bench a couple of games here and there but the day he steps into the goal like I hope Petrovic has done it then he will definitely be maintaining that right there anyways let's talk about some of his strengths and weaknesses um, uh, Todibo he's uh, a guy who has shown a lot of flexibility and uh, he had a recent interview with uh, I think it must have been the league uh, um, uh, website where he was speaking about yeah last season where he had he was part of the most solid defense in French football um, uh, he was playing under a, a different manager where they were playing uh, you know they were not exactly trying to move fast and everything it was really possession a bit of tiki taka here and there and, and, and he was thriving quite well this season they are playing a different brand of football they are much more um, uh, progressive and all of that and he's coming through very very strong so he is someone who can feel many managers um, uh, you know um, uh, profiles and uh, that means that uh, should the people who are pushed out like myself get to maybe be lucky and they're right and pushes out and another manager comes in there is a high possibility that Todibo will still be very very um, uh, you know relative uh, maybe relevant to their tactics in there. And for me, one of the biggest things that we need from a center back right now, when you look at Disassi at the moment, um, uh, fairly solid defensively, he's uh, marked our box so well and done so many beautiful things. And uh, he hasn't exactly given us much as far as the attack is concerned. Of course, his debut was beautiful. That goal against Liverpool, um, no one can get to write that one off. But uh, I feel that with Todibo, we would have a bigger, of course, attacking, uh, you know, um, since in there as, as far as uh, centre-backs are concerned. Of course, it's not so good with the head. Um, uh, Todibo, it's something that he still needs to grow. Even when he's as tall as he is, he's not so good with uh, aerially as far as, uh, you know, scoring goals and uh, just being able to put off defenders in the aerial battles and all of that. So that's a little bit of a challenge. Therefore, if he comes in, we need a tall centre-back to play against uh, alongside him. Is that a Colwell? Is that a, a, a Badiashil? Is that a Disasi who's comfortable on both feet and can also play as the left centre? back then that is uh, also something that adds to why he will be a perfect fit for us um, uh, last season very impressive uh, statistics as far as uh, defense is concerned I will read these ones here um, uh, these are off who scored.com 73.2 percent those are the dribblers he tackled I mean this guy is so front-footed before he falls back and trails back he's looking at what does this attacker want to do can I put in a foot and get that ball off and he has so many of those Every time I have watched him uh, for Nice and also the highlights that I've watched ahead of doing this video, a lot of it really reminds me about David Luiz. Remember how David Luiz would have that rush of blood in the head and make some mistakes and all of that? There is a whole lot of that still possible with Todibo in as much as he's grown and matured and tried to level up and uh, tried to make not so many mistakes. There is still a whole... Generally, it is a David Luiz without the long-range shots, without um, uh, you know that other level of madness that he actually had and all of that this one is a bit calmer and all of that but he's a guy that is I think his first line of thought is can I attack this ball can I steal it can we take it back and the beauty about it again is when he steals it and he's successful with it He's turning that into attack immediately. Should he have a gap to run with the ball, he's going to move with it a few yards, probably into the opposition's um, uh, half. And again, like I said, he has the pace to recover. So it is a beautiful addition that we'll be having as far as this team is concerned um, uh, right here. And his passing, 
he's passing. It is, it is amazing um, uh, what he does. Again, David Luiz, if you remember David Luiz, he's at the back, he is in that number five or number four position, and he's just going to look at where is uh, Diego Costa, where is whoever, and he's going to find them accurately. That beat also reminds me of Todibo right here, and I think that will be something that will be a great, great addition to us. 4.8 uh, progressive passes and 4.3 passes into the final third per 90 minutes. Can you imagine that on average he has for you over four passes into the, the, the into the um, uh, final into the final third he has over well close to five passes progressive I think that's a very good addition to a team that are trying to attack as much as we are right there. All right, let's get to talk about his growth at, uh, well, Nice, where he, he currently is. And uh, we need to take note of the fact that um, uh, in the summer, he almost joined Manchester United. I don't know what happened in there. He too has admitted that he almost signed for Manchester United, but uh, that didn't exactly happen. And uh, he's still at Nice for some reason. This will be the second, uh, and I don't think that we're going to be in this move alone if at all we are really going in there because Manchester United will probably want to also go back in there and get this defender so yes there was that near miss by Manchester United we need to have that asterisk um, in there as we manage our expectations and hopes for him right there um, uh, he says shown that he's happy to stay at Nice ever since that move fell through that he want to move in January now is this a case of another of a big club have come through they want me to go in there I can't miss this opportunity or is he going to stay so you know stay seated and wait for the summer where he could get to make that move and maybe do more things with Nice and in a more you know settled environment not wanting to change that of course that works two ways you could choose to stay calm stay seated and uh, complete your season at your club but you could all, uh, and, and well start off the next season and struggle at the beginning or you could uh, move now struggle through the rest of the campaign and then be in the right footing maybe for the new season nothing is assured again it's really down to the player and their reality so we'll be waiting on that um, uh, he is definitely a big piece of why Nice are defending as well as they still are right now he's also an, an international for the French national team and that has also done so well for his game right there um uh, well his uh, defensive partner I was reading that interview that he had with uh, the league R website and uh, the guy was saying that you know what this guy has developed so much from the player that he was at Barcelona he's now Kama he's learned how you know how to manage when he should be attacking and when he shouldn't be attacking um, uh, and he's uh, found that balance between taking risks and uh, you know just being defensive uh, solid defensively right Right there so that is quite something that we want to look into and say yes this is a guy that will be a perfect fit for Chelsea Football Club and I really hope I'm one of those that think that we need to bring him in and see um, uh, how we get to improve this team even further even when I understand that we definitely need a striker coming into our squad ladies and gentlemen this is not just a player this is not just a defender this is one of Europe's hottest properties as far as defensive signings can get to go do we need a guy like him yes we have so many defenders at Chelsea currently but do we need a guy like him in those so many that we have are we in a position where we could sacrifice one or two of those defenders and bring in a uh, bring in a Todibo yes I think so and I don't think many of these guys are available so often so if we have an opportunity to bring him in today I say yes let's go for it yes we can and uh, yeah who doesn't want themselves a more mature and a more balanced David Luiz any day anytime let me know what your thoughts are on Jean-Claude um, uh, Todibo Jean-Claire Todibo not Claude Claire um, uh, Todibo and uh, yeah let me know what you think about that signing and that potential signing or which player do you think we should be focusing on more than um, uh, Todibo all of that in the comment section I will be reading those and I will be reverting um, uh, to you um, uh, as we converse over there one thing is for sure ladies and gentlemen I could kneel I could beg Please like this video if you enjoyed this content. Please like it. With your like, we shall be able to have this video in the faces of so many other people because YouTube relies on that like to 
to send it out to as many people as possible. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, and please turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on all this amazing content that I put my mind to, that I put my efforts to, to ensure I bring it to you as consistently as possible. Until the next video, keep the blue flag flying high.